Rahman Rahim, dear students across the globe, Assalamu Alaikum. This is Muhammad Azjar Khan, your English language teacher. In this video, we will record a preposition and function of preposition. What is a preposition? The question is, what is a preposition? Preposition is made up of two words, pre and position. Pre means prior, position means a place, prior to place. Prior to place, pre means prior, before, before the place, before the place. Now, this word shows the positions of other words with regard to subjects, with regards of subjects, as well as other words. Means, this shows the position of other words and the subject itself, the relationship of other words with the subjects, and the position where that object is and how is it, this shows. Usually it is used before the object in a sentence, means you take a sentence and you will find a preposition, a prepositional phrase at the end of the sentence. Why? This shows the position of the object with regard to the subject. With regard to the subject means that the subject that is talking about an object, where is it? And how is it? For example, we say the book is on the table. Now if we exclude the book on the table. If we exclude on, so it will be simply the book on the table. So there is no relationship. We have to put a word there that will make a relationship between the two clauses and link them and will show that what the subject is talking about and where is it. Okay? So, there are around about more than 200 prepositions in English, but the most common are, we will discuss, okay? For example, <clears throat> we have on, in, into, of, far, from, inside, outside, by, with, to, towards, etc. There are a long list of prepositions, but the most commonly used preposition are them and now how are they used and how do they determine the place of an object with regard to the subject is like this the book is now this is a phrase this is a separate phrase the book is and the table is another phrase is another phrase now linguistically we can say is is a separate phrase, verb phrase. Now here it is the book is noun phrase, it is verb phrase, it is again noun phrase. But how we will make a link between them? The book is. So the book is, yes. So what does it mean? It is a phrase, it doesn't show it, uh, uh, its meaning fully. And the table, okay the table is there, so what does it mean? Now, this is a subject and a preposition determines the place of the subject. Preposition. Preposition means prior to position, before the position. Before the position. Position is what? The table. Before, pre, pre is on the table, under the table, beneath the table, below the table. Okay, they are what? They are preposition. On, in, under, beneath, below, over, above, above the table, over the table. Okay, they show the position of the book. Where is it? Similarly, they came. They came, okay. That's all right. They came is a short clause. They came. But how 
did they come? How did they come there? And we have a source as well, and that source is bus. They came by bus. This is a verb phrase. This is a noun phrase, which is pronoun. This is again an, a verb phrase, uh, a noun phrase. Bus is a noun. To show the position of them. They came. How? By bus. Now, this by make a link between the bus and them. They. So they came by bus. The teacher punished. That is a clause. The teacher is what? The teacher is a, pro, a, noun, clause, uh, a noun clause. Punished is what? Punished is a verb clause. Uh, sorry. The teacher is a phrase. Punished is a phrase, verb phrase. A stick is again a noun phrase. A stick is again a noun phrase. Now, to, to make a relationship between the stick and the teacher. Is there any relationship between the teacher and the stick? Yes. A teacher, a teacher usually uses stick. But a shepherd also usually uses a stick. Okay. So, here the word punished make the subject a teacher. The word punished. So, the teacher punished with a stick. How a teacher punished the students with a stick. So, a stick make relationship between the verb and the teacher. Between the verb and the teacher. The teacher punished how? With a stick. With is used for the relationship. That the teacher used a stick for punishment. She jumped the swimming pool. The swimming pool is again a noun phrase. She is a subject. Noun phrase jumped is what? Jumped is a verb phrase. She jumped and the swimming pool. There is the swimming pool, there is a girl standing, but we don't know. Something jumped into the swimming pool. We don't know who jumped into the swimming pool. But there was a girl who was standing there and she jumped somewhere. But there was nearby a swimming pool. Now, to make it certain that she jumped in the swimming pool so we here we will not use in we will use in to when we talk about or the transfer about or talk about the transfer about one thing into another phenomena one phenomena into another phenomena for example from a close into open from a field into room from earth into space or from space into water okay so from one phenomenon we use into to shift to the other phenomena so she is standing on the soil on the ground and she will jump into water into the swimming pool so we will use into now it made the relationship you are living you are living yes out of the city of the city is a preposition <coughs> uh, you are living outside of the city of here the same the city is a noun phrase and outside is what outside is adverb here adverb of place and this is adverb of place also outside the place so you is what uh, noun phrase 
are living is what? Are living both are verb phrase. It is at verb phrase. And this is again at verb phrase. Now to make relationship between the two at verbs, you use of outside the city. Outside of the city. Okay. So dear students, <coughs> today we discuss the last part of speech preposition in this uh, video I hope you will have understood all the parts of speech I would like all of you to go through all the parts of speech listen to them again and again if you have any comment any question you can ask me in the comment section and your <coughs> uh, comments I'll definitely answer you the second thing I'll also welcome your suggestion to improve my teaching style and grammar as well uh, i'm grateful please suggest it to the maximum number of people and subscribe it it is for your benefits i'm grateful